Hey guys, Smigit here, coming at you with another tutorial. In the last tutorial, I explained basic control structures and how to use if statements. So if you want a refresher on that, you can always just click on the video right there to go and watch it. Today, what we're going to be talking about is kind of amping it up a little bit with the use of else and else if, along with what we learned in the last video about if statements. So with that stuff, we're going to have a lot more flexibility. There's a lot of fun stuff we can do with this added knowledge. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in order to demonstrate what we're gonna be learning about today, I'm going to write a program that has the user input a number, whatever they choose, and based on that number, the program is gonna give them some advice, okay? So, just gonna take care of some basics first. I'm gonna define int answer, and that's what the number is gonna be stored in. And then I'm gonna ask them, Please enter a number in order for advice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end that with a semicolon and ask them to give us the answer through CN answer. Okay guys, so first part's done, easy enough. We've learned about all that stuff. Now we're going to give them advice based on, let's just start out with two different numbers that they could have picked. So I'm gonna write if the answer equals one, and remember we're always gonna need those two equal signs right there when we're working with if statements. And then we can go ahead and jump to the next line, don't worry about a semicolon, and we're going to write C out move to Canada, which is great advice in certain circumstances if you're already from Canada, what you should do is move out of Canada and then move back to Canada, just to cover all the bases here and be specific. And then, so what if we want something else to happen? Well, we're gonna use an else statement. And really, instead of having specific things that we need, we're gonna go ahead and save that for later and we're just gonna have it go to else by default. So else, I'm gonna say, buy some mustard which I mean if it's not either of those two I don't know what uh, what to tell you those are always the answers to everything okay guys so this is the most basic example I can give of an if else statement and the reason why we need if else statements is because when we move on and start writing more complex programs um, it's not just gonna be one line in here it's gonna be multiple lines of code with all sorts of different things that can happen Okay, and when it starts to get to that point, you're gonna wanna start using brackets, okay? And you don't need the brackets if you're only using one line underneath these statements, uh, but I just wanna demonstrate that before we go any further. So let's go ahead and run the code, see what happens. And there you go, you can see it's working. Let's go ahead and enter in number one. And it says move to Canada. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip and do it one more time. I'm gonna put in a four. And it says buy some mustard, all right? So there you go, that's pretty useful. Um, let's move on to one last concept. It's gonna be else if statements, okay? So if we wanna do three or more things that can happen, we're gonna start doing else if okay and with else if we're gonna want to have something inside the parentheses so if answer equals two then we'll have them see out eat a koala oh man please don't eat a koala they're so cute this program we're just gonna pretend this program's evil okay and so what we see here is what happens when we have an else statement before an else if statement. And I just wanted to show that to you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and just repaste it down here under the else if statement. And we'll run it again. And we can see it works. Let's go ahead and hit that two button. Eat a koala, yeah. Yeah, that's if, else, if, and else. And you guys, since this video is not gonna end up being that long, I wanna go ahead and show you one more concept 
and that is the concept of nested loops, which I may have a whole entire video on uh, a little bit later, but I just want to show you guys this. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing multiple lines of code within this if statement, at least, and see out move to Canada. And I'm going to have them input an answer. Um, so please enter another number. And I'm going to have to define another space for their number. And I'll call that answer number two. CN, answer two. And all right, this is going to blow your mind. Watch this. Go ahead and hit tab. If answer two equals five, C out go to Quebec specifically okay else um how about see out just don't even go because I mean if if their answer number two isn't five they're not really Canadian material obviously because that makes sense anyways let's go ahead and run it see what happens so I'm going to hit 1 to move to Canada. It says move to Canada. Please enter another number. And I better hit 5. Okay, it says go to Quebec specifically. Otherwise, just don't even go. Um, I'm glad I hit 5. Alright, folks. That's all I've got for you in today's video. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you had fun. Have a great day and adios.